Family is important, right? Well, you're going to see just how important it is to a few people starring in the A&E docuseries called Adults Adopting Adults. One face that'll pop up is the widower of Hollywood legend Ja Ja Gabor, Prince Frederick Von Alt. He's looking for an heir, and it looks like he found one. Hi, Prince Frederick. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you. Thank you for talking to me. Now, can you tell me, what made you want to take part in adopting a grown man? <laughs> Listen, I'm 78 years old, right? I'm an, I'm an old guy. I'm going 80. Hopefully, uh, I, I told him what's coming to him. I said, look, it's not only not only you have to help me and, and, and be there for me. And, and when you're in Germany or wherever you are, when I call you, you have to come over. But also, uh, you have to continue the legacy of the Gabors, you know, because there's nobody left. I'm the only one left, you see. So I need somebody who's carrying on the story, you know. It's a big story because we are talking so much today about the Kardashians, but the Gabors don't those used to be the Kardashians at that time, you know. Uh, it, it really was, you know. I remember when 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 Jasha came out with uh, some kind of products, you know, and I said, you can never sell that. Oh, she said, don't worry, I put my name on and it goes and it left. <laughs> she sold it. She even made she even made an exercise video when she was 75 years old. I said to the producer, you must be nuts to doing it. You know, we are losing money. No, we made eight million dollars with it. You see, with her name is. So, so, so that's it. And this story has to go on, and somebody has to tell the story because, uh, especially to younger generation, a generation who don't know Jaja Gabor anymore. But today it's so easy because we are all having those cell phones and doing things like that. And if somebody mentions the name Jaja Gabor, the next guy is going, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's she, that's she." You know. So I need somebody to tell the story, and that's uh, what Kevin has to do. Now, do the people around you think that you are just insane for going through with something like this? Let them, let them think I'm insane. I don't give a damn about it. I really don't give a damn about it. I do whatever I want. You know? <laughs> listen, when you are, listen, to survive Hollywood, let me tell you something. To, I'm in Hollywood now since 40 years. To survive Hollywood, you have to be a little insane. Otherwise, you can't survive. You can't make it. You have to, you have to, you have to, you have to be a little crazy, you know. That's what we all do because we entertain the world over here. You know that. This is the biggest age in the world. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's so really, really tell... good advice. That's great yeah, advice them... for anybody. <laughs> yeah, let them tell me whatever they want. I do, uh, I do what I want. I do what what's best for me. I do that for me. You know, it's he has to help me. You know, I could I could have a stroke tomorrow or a heart attack tomorrow. Anything can happen to me. So I need somebody to help me. You know, if I have to go to the hospital, I need somebody to help me. So I told that to Kevin. I said, look, you're dealing with an old guy. He says, don't worry, I help you. So hopefully. It's going to work out, you know, you never know. <laughs> and he's a womanizer. He likes you guys. Yeah, yeah, he's a womanizer too. So that's right, because a womanizer, sometimes he gets married. He gets married, he has some children, so I have some grandchildren, so I have something to play with. What the heck? <laughs> You're welcome. You're cutie. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you.